Hello and welcome to another Igloo Imaging tutorial. This one's on the Squid Games branding. Uh, I've just finished the Netflix series and really enjoyed it, but I did love the logo at the start, so I wanted to have a look and see how closely that represented the um, the Korean translation. So what I, went, I did, I went on um, Google Translate and popped in Squid Games, and this is a this is what I got. This is a screenshot of what came back, and you can see the ovals are circles. The this kind of sort of element here has been turned into a triangle. Um, this rectangle into a square and so on. They've kind of moved bits down. So what I'm going to do is is redesign the the actual Squid Games logo and then try and make my own for Igloo Imaging. Um, and if you guys want to follow along, the artboard's 1920 by 1080 pixels, and I'm just using black, solid black, CMYK, and a magenta. Um, it's a slightly it's got a slight bit of, let's have a look, yeah, 20% yellow, so 100% magenta, 20% yellow, that's your um, magenta. Um, so what I'm going to do is recreate this logo and then try and apply it to Igloo Imaging, which is the, that's the Korean for Igloo Imaging. I don't speak Korean, so if that says something else, I do apologize. Um, right, let's get started. So I'm going to zoom in on this screen grab that I took. And we're going to start with the ellipse tool. I'm going to click in the center and hold down Shift and Alt, and it's going to drag out. I want to use strokes, so I don't want to. I'm just going to get rid of the fill color and put a random color on this. And I want to get this circle pretty much lined up in the middle, and then I'm just going to up the stroke weight, stroke weight until it looks about right. I'm going to probably drop down to about there, make it a tiny bit bigger. So that's given me a weight of 15 that I'm working on at the minute. So that's that's pretty good. Uh, I'm going to leave that uh, this sort of yellow color for now and just use the pen tool to draw some other elements. Let's get these aligned. I like it nice and neat. So if you can't see any of these things that I'm working with, just press pause and open up all the windows here. You might want to have um, smart guides and snap to point one as well. So select these two and let's do a horizontal align and then I'll just nudge it across with the cursors so I'm nice and neat. Go back to the pen tool and I'm going to click across here. And I'm going to use this across so I'm going to quickly draw this and speed it up. Okay. Okay, so you can see I've recreated this, so what I'm going to do is just select it all and just move it down so we can get the right colors and some shading that we've got. So I'm going to actually select all of this and go to Object, Expand, and hit OK. And what that's done, it's taken it from a stroke to a solid shape. So let's select the ones that are going to end up magenta. I'm just going to hit them with V and hold down uh, Shift select that one and the square let's make them and then let's select everything else and make them white so this is this needs to come to the front so command shift and the right square bracket and uh, that's okay everything else this needs to come to the front and we just need a little drop shadow on this so let's select the circle go up to effects uh, stylize drop shadow that looks about right. We've got multiply. Let's just hit normal. It's probably a bit too much. So let's drop it down to six. Blur, maybe four. Yeah, four looks about right. Y offset. In fact, we don't want. We do want a Y offset. We don't want an X offset. There we go. So it just drops down below. Maybe drop this down to about 60%. That looks good. Click OK. Let's have a look. Yeah, that's right. And then the seven, uh, well, it looks like a seven. This element here has got a little slight shadow. So let's go into drop shadow again. But this time round, 
it doesn't seem to be as pronounced. So let's do the blur down to two and the offset's zero of both. That looks about right, let's have a look. Yeah, I'd say that's pretty good. Okay, so that's our Squid Games logo recreated. I think it looks nice. It's vector based, so we can make it as big as we like. So let's take this down to another artboard over here. And let's see what we can use for our igloo imaging. So here we've got the circle. So let's start with a circle. Um, I'm just going to do it all in white. So there seems to be some big circles and small circles. Let's have a little look at this. So those are the slightly smaller ones, but that's a small one. So I think it's just artistic license there, whatever fits. So let's go, let's do the circle, bring that down. Let's do the appearance and just get rid of the drop shadow for now, because we don't need it on that one. We've got a line. I'm just gonna chuck these in fairly roughly. So then we've got these elements that look like number twos and this kind of thing. So let's let's try and draw something along those lines. So using the pen tool, I'm going to draw across and it's a slight angle. And we need to get this stroke back on. Let's do a orange stroke again. And the weight we had before was 15. So let's let's try and do this over here. Make it a bit bigger. Still 15, okay. All right, that looks pretty good. And then this number two, so let's draw number two. Seems to go this element down. So it seems like this goes over. So it's not quite lined up. But are we going to use artistic license here and line it up? I think so. Hopefully that's not changing the meaning of any of these things. So we're going to use this number two again up here. And then we have a T. So let's do a wide T. Bring that down. We can line these up afterwards. So then we've got another circle and another line. Let's go. And then we've got the square. Let's line that up at the top just. And let's take the bar again. Now we've got these elements which we've used from before. So let's line that up. We'll group them, line up at the top. And we've got another smaller circle which is somewhere around here. In fact, it looks to me like this sort of setup here. Let's just check this Squid Games one. So that's the same. Let's check that. That's the same there. So we can use that exact same grouping here, I think. So let me just get rid of that. We'll select all of this, copy it over. Are we going to line it up this way or that way? Let's line it up that way. Let's probably bring this down like this. Let's see if that works for us. Okay, so this doesn't look quite right. It's not the right weight. We did use 15 before, but I've obviously made it bigger since then. So let's up this until we get something that's the right weight. Let's just copy this across. And select all of these and get the right there we go so 21 is the move that back and go to 21 
Okay, so what's happened here now, these don't quite look right, so we need a bit of work on these. So what I'm going to do is actually expand these. So object and expand. Okay. And then let's start to work on these. So I feel like I have lined it up quite well. I think these just look a bit lost out that far away. So I'm going to move those in a touch. Now, in terms of what's pink and what's not, I quite like the uh, the setup at the minute. Um, I'm looking at the shadow here. And this seems to have put a shadow where the space is. But I don't seem to have any spaces in mine. So I'm not going to put any shadows on maybe put the two and the two maybe make this circle white I quite like that so there we go that is my igloo imaging squid games logo I'd love to hear from some uh, Korean speakers to see if this actually works as a concept so I hope you've enjoyed that one um, try out your own logo and I'll see you again next time Thank you.